Hello guys, Roby here, and today in Helldivers 2, uh, the new War Bond is now available. And so if you go into, if you sign into the game, if you go into Acquisitions, you'll be able to see the new War Bond, that you still see the old one, still Veterans, but you'll also be able to see the new one that just came out, Cutting Edge, and so you just go in there. And you will see the new items in the war bond itself. So let's go ahead and um, purchase this um, first. Let's see here. How do we purchase this again? So we will go to war bond progression. And it's going to say buy premium war bond on the bottom right. You press Y. Press and hold Y to unlock it. And it's going to give a confirmation message to purchase that war bond. It's a thousand. We'll go ahead and um, purchase it. And you should now be able to go in and um, buy items from it. And so for this, you need medals to purchase the individual items in the war bond. But before we do, let's take a look at the items on the first page. And so just like the previous still veterans war bond, war bonds only have three pages to them. This is the second page and this is the third page. Now let's go ahead and um, take a look at what we have here. So for starters, we have the first page here with the items on it. To unlock items on the second page, you need to have spent about 60 medals to unlock the second page. And to get to the third page, you need to have spent about 230 medals. And so let's go to the first page and look at the items there. So first we have this player card, uh, Bot Slayer, it's pretty good. Next we have this item here, which is a booster, Local Confusion. Let's look at, let's inspect it. And says here, increases the time between enemy encounters. This is actually pretty good. And then you have your super credits, which you can get there. And we have the first weapon for this, which is the LAS-16 Sickle. Okay, has light armor penetration and also has heat to it. Damage is just 55, fire limit of 9, recall of 2, and fire rate of 750. Now, apart from that, we also have this armor here the EX-03 Prototype 3. And you can see here, this is medium armor, I'm guessing. Let's see here. Let's inspect it. Okay. Armor Passive Electrical Conduit provides 95% resistance to arc damage. Hmm. That's, that's interesting. And then we have the helmet here. You can see. We also have the um, cape. Cape's actually pretty nice, though. It goes well with the armor. And then we have the new um, emote here, uh, Victory Pose, I mean, which is the head tap. Now let's go to the next page here. We have the Shotgun Show, uh, Victory Pose. We have the new armor, which is the EX-16 Prototypes, EX-16 Prototype 16. <laughs> That's a mouthful. It's the same thing, Electrical Conduit is the armor passive. Provides 95% resistance to arc damage. I think the reason as to why these two armor types have resistance to arc damage is probably because of one of the new weapons. And um, there's a chance I might actually also see um, weather, um, hazardous weather, kind of like right now, if you go to specific um, planets in the Terminant region, you have the uh, f f uh, fire tornado. So I'm just guessing here, but we'll see. Uh, this is the helmet here, and this is the cape. This is the weapon here, um, the Punisher Plasma. It's explosive. We have the Super Credits Halter. And then we have the Premium Grenade, the G23 Stun. We also have the Player Card, Mar Martris Rex. I think, I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that well, but this looks really nice. This is it right here. And then the third page in the Cotton Edge War Bond. We have this, oof, this player card is like Agent of Oblivion, it's pretty cool. We have the LS7 Dagger, which is the um, premium pistol. It has light armor penetration. It's one-handed, it's a beam weapon, and it also produces heat. We have the super credits. And we also have the ARC-12 Blitzer, which is a shotgun. And this is ARC. Damage is 250, capacity is infinite. Recall is 60 and rate of fire is 30. We have the new body armor, EXO Prototype X. 
the same um, armor passive provides 95% resistance to arc damage. Armor rating of 50, speed of 55. And so this is light armor here. And stamina regen of 125. And that's the helmet right there. The helmet looks pretty cool though. And the cape. Let's see, we can look at the cape. The cape is pretty dope. And then we have the Victory Pros, which is um, presentable. And that's it for the Spring and Warbond here. Um, one of the very first things I will be unlocking will be the weapon. And that's it right there. I'll go ahead and equip it. And of course the super credits. It's just, that one's pretty obvious. And then this here, let's see, wait, let's see it one. Okay, no, okay, so it's only that one that has this. Now, this is actually pretty cool though, this right here. The uh, localization infusion. So I'll purchase that also. And definitely the player card. So let's see, I've unlocked, okay, 13 more to unlock the next page. Uh, I'll go with the armor. I think of the three, that's my favorite so far though. Yeah, that's my favorite of the three armors. So that'll probably be the, um, yeah, I'll unlock that one. And that brings us to the next page here. And um, on the next page here, we have different things from the cape to the weapons. And to have just enough to get the plasma shotgun. So I'll go ahead and get that because I have 62 medals left. And medals is um, relatively easy to farm. Um, there are tons of video on YouTube on how to farm them. And that's it though. That is the um, Warbond Cutting Edge that just came out today for Helldivers 2. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the Warbond, what you guys will be getting in the what 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 the first few things you guys will be getting in the Warbond. And that's it guys. Um, and so before I say Ruby out, <laughs> let me know what you think of the new Warbond and it changes to the recent changes to the game. Okay. And that's it. Um, Ruby out. Happy gaming, guys. Peace.